All right, what's up, y'all? What up, what up? It's your boy, Bobby W223 here, and this is my review of Tomb Raider. I'm just going to show some random gameplay up on here. Um, I got to say, right off the bat, this game is flipping amazing. I'm going to try not to cuss in this video. Just I know I swear a lot, but this, this game really is amazing this is a very good game in my opinion this is the best game so far this year the game is even better than i thought it was going to be like i already knew the game was going to be pretty damn good but this is all already cussed <laughs> but uh <clears throat> this, the the game is even better than i thought it's, it's always good when a game um goes above what you expect you know it's one thing for some to meet your expectations for before to go above and beyond is is another and this game uh, pretty much nails everything that it tries to do being a survival, you know, action adventure game. And real quick, you know, I, I okay, I, I really didn't want to get into this, but you know what, screw it. Um, the whole, you know, Uncharted comparison with this game and all this, you know, uh, the thing is, we all know, you know, what, what game came first and this, this, that, and the other, we know what game came afterwards. One thing... I will say that a lot of people probably, well, some folks probably don't know is that at least with the first Uncharted, I don't know about the other two, but the first Uncharted, they actually had, have or had devs, Tomb Raider developers help make Uncharted. So the people that, that have made the Tomb Raider games all this time have also had a hand in Uncharted. So by default, seen as both games are in the same genre and have a similar concept and have the same developers there are gonna be similarities people whether what you know one came out you know 10 years before the other one you know tomb raider came out 1996 uncharted came out 2006 coincidence i don't know but um but yeah so the whole you know oh it's copy it's, copy, it's, it's just stupid this this is a reboot you know, they reboot the franchise, they try to make it more survival, they, you know, also have added things that other games have done, you know, more, uh, you know, more modern games, or whatever you want to say, have done this generation that weren't in previous um, Tomb Raider games from previous generations, or even, even this generation, if you look at, like, Underworld and things like that. But, that being said, obviously, if there was no Tomb Raider, there most likely would be no Uncharted, you know, and... The way that this game is, as far as the, the reboot, there's a, uh, it's pretty safe, safe, safe to say some of the things in this game may not. It well, it wouldn't. I don't necessarily mean that certain things in this game wouldn't be there, but they may not be to the extent that they are if it wasn't for games like Uncharted. With if you look at some of the set pieces in this game, I, I made a little joke. I guess clip or whatever. Uh, Laura's uh, I, I titled a Tomb Raider Laura's Fortune. Or whatever and um it was just you know like a small set piece well there's way bigger set piece moments than that but i was just showing off a little set piece moment and even just little things like that may not have been to that extent if you know games like uncharted didn't do what it did not that other games haven't done similar things be before uncharted as well it's just that uncharted is kind of the main one people think of when it comes to those huge you know set piece moments or whatever but um that being said honestly the games really to me, oh shit, oh, oh shit, <laughs> sup son, oh, oh snap, where are you going, the hell, okay, that was weird, so, anyway, anywho, um, <laughs> what the hell's I saying, um, the games, the Uncharted and Tomb Raider to me, play a lot more differently than they look like if somebody who hasn't played the game yet and you're, you're just watching gameplay of, of the new tomb raider and you're watching gameplay of you know uncharted damn that shit right to the face the games to me honestly play a lot more differently than you would um expect if you're just watching the games honestly now i've i obviously haven't played the, the last of us because it's not out but I think The Last of Us and, and this Tomb Raider actually might be more similar from a gameplay standpoint than Uncharted and, and uh, this Tomb Raider. They just look similar once once again, but I, I talked way too much about that. So anyway, back to talking about Tomb Raider. Um, this might be Elon Dynasty. Yeah, speaking of uh, game gameplay and all that, um, 
The gameplay is great. It's solid. It's pretty responsive overall. There's a few little ticks here, like here and there. Like if I'm in an in a intense fight, like I just got through fighting some guys actually. So I, I just kind of decided to do the review on this part. So I'm just kind of I'm just kind of running around. I'm not really uh, I'm just kind of goofing around. Um, but uh, when you get into an in, intense shootouts, there's times where I'll be aiming right at a dude, right, about to shoot him. And like you, you uh, you hit uh, L3 to uh, switch your perspectives, like most games. I'm not trying to hate in the game. Just saying that's you know most third person shooters. You know you your um, R R3 trigger. Or, I mean R3 joystick zooms in, and then L3 uh, joystick you can turn you know left and right. Like I literally will not. I will be. I will make sure like I'm not. Damn. <laughs> She's like floated. To, uh, like I will make sure like I'm not pressing down on l3 or whatever and there's times where i'm in an intense fight and i'll literally just be aiming at the dude straight by shooting his face right and then the game will just do like that or whatever and it'll just switch over and like i'm not like so yeah but it's, it's just like every now and again that'll happen i notice and just other, other little, little things here and there like she'll jump and like it, it like won't quite respond and just like little little small stuff every every now and again but over overall very responsive game overall, very fun, addictive gameplay, everything everything works. Overall, shooting's good, jumping, you know, it's, it's pretty good, it's kind of automatic. I would even say it's a little more automatic than Uncharted, sorry, I know I keep going back to that, but um, th that's just for those of you that haven't played the new Tomb Raider, maybe, maybe I've played Uncharted, but uh, yeah, overall, very smooth gameplay, um, climbing, jumping, shooting, uh, using the bow and arrow to like do different things like uh, attach it making like ropes like how you can see this rope going across like there like you can like kind of make those yourself if you find certain uh uh platforms or whatever you can uh do different stuff or whatever oh shit um very gruesome game like the deaths in this game are pretty gruesome and speaking on that people i think need to kind of calm down a little bit it's it's funny how you know we say, oh, women, you know, they have equal rights to men, and we need to treat women equally to men, whether it's, you know, real life, movies, music, gaming, whatever. But then as soon as something, like, happens where a woman gets hurt or something like that, all of a sudden we, we want to treat them less than. We want to put them at a lower level than males and feel like, oh, we can't have women getting hurt or getting murdered in a game. We can't see that, but it's perfectly okay when it's a male. But as soon as a, a, a female... Get, don't get me wrong, like, there's some gruesome ass death animations in this game but i mean i've seen some pretty damn gruesome death animations in other games too when it's males and i haven't seen the industry you know the video game industry respond the way that they have um with tomb raider i, I just find it funny i really believe it's because it's it's a female like i if this was you know a male character i don't think oh shit i don't i don't think um folks would um care as much because we're kind of used to seeing you know male main main characters in, in gaming so when they get you know hurt and things like that it's just not not as big of a deal i, I think or whatever but um so pe pe people need to calm down calm down with that shit but uh, i guess i'm about to get into a uh fight right here i guess but um yeah overall sounds great oh well speaking of dying um but yeah overall Game sounds great, plays great, uh, voice acting is good, story overall is good. There's a few things with the plot that was kind of dumb to me. Like, I don't want to um, spoil anything, but um, the only real overall, like, negative I can think of is the online, which I will show some of that um, here in a minute. But um, first of all, it's kind of tough to get into matches. I don't know if a lot of people just aren't playing it. Um, shouts to uh, to uh, Bree, uh, Breezy TV. Shouts to, to Breezy or Pr Prince KZ Kazama or Magic Don Juan, whatever he's calling himself nowadays. But uh, shouts to him. Um, I know he said the game sold, I believe, a million in the first two days. So props to uh, uh, Tomb Raider. Props to uh, Crystal, Crystal Dynamics and Square. All that all that good stuff. It's you know sounds like it's selling pretty good already. But it's weird that a million people have this game and. Let's say, you know, I say probably about 400,000, 300,000 at least is probably PS3. And, like, it's kind of hard to find matches, at least in my experience. And then when I finally did get into a match, the shit, it was running cool for the first few minutes. I'm just murdering people. I'm in the lead, playing free-for-all. I got eight kills, first of 15. 
and then all of a sudden, the shit just like went to complete lag city to a point where it said that we all left the match, like everybody in the in the match. It said we all left, and I don't know if they were gone or what, but I was still in the match, and like I know there was like some people that I saw like that the, their names or whatever, and it was like new new people that joined because there there was like completely different names. I'm like, oh snap, like. Did it just like rematch the the game or something? But like, I'm still in the game, running around, killing people. But I'm not getting any points. And like I look at the scoreboard, and I'm not on the scoreboard. But I'm still running around. I'm getting kills. I'm being killed by other people. But I'm like not registered in the match. So there's some really bad fuck up going on with the um with the uh, multiplayer um gameplay wise or anything with the multiplayer. It's okay. It was kind of generic. Uh, honestly, I feel it doesn't need to be there. The single player is solid as hell, like I said. Uh, I believe the game's around 10 to 12 hours, which is, you know, pretty good for a story-driven, you know, plot-driven game. I know some gamers, you know, they scoff at anything that's not at least 65 to 75 plus hours. But you got to understand that, you know, games like this, that, you know, they, they are driven by plot the whole time. They don't have you know, 10 hours of dead story where you're just running through the game and there's no plot going on for like 10 hours and then a cutscene or something will pop up where, you know, the the plot will continue at that point. The plot is always going on, so that's 10, 10 to 15 hours, I'll say, of solid plot, con consistent plot the whole time. It's not like you have five hours where nothing is going on, you know, plot-wise. You see what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, it's, it's a solid, solid, oh, shit, did I see it, solid, I, I can't talk and play at the same time, you, you guys know that have been subbing me for a while, so I'm not trying to, you know, have this crazy gameplay, I just thought I'd throw some up, so, uh, anybody else talk shit, oh, you died twice, you know, I'm just, uh, trying to get this review, and I'm looking at the computer and stuff to make sure the shit's recording, because it was kind of acting funny the other day, but, uh, yeah, overall, great game, I had to give this game a 9 out of 10, Really, the only thing I can say, every every once in a while, the controls get a little funky, like, every now and again. A few little things with the plot that I didn't agree with, but overall, great plot, great voice acting. Uh, Laura Croft, great character, great re, I guess, reimagining of Laura Croft. I didn't realize that she was 17. She does not look 17 to me. I'm just saying. I don't want to go too far into it. I don't want to sound weird, but I'm just saying, you know, hey, all, all these, you know, females, you know, I'll, that I'm sub to on YouTube talk about how they think Nathan Drake is good looking and all this stuff. But, you know, I don't want to say nothing about Laura Croft because I found she's 17. So, yeah, it's weird. thought she was like 20. Anywho, back to, uh, <laughs> uh, crazy. But no, back, back to this. Yeah, um, graphics are great. I hear the PC version is amazing. I was thinking about downloading on Steam. I'm not sure if my P or my um, uh, Mac laptop can um, run it. I gotta uh, check that out a little further. But I, I might, I might buy, I might buy this on the Mac. I don't know. Otherwise, I'm definitely buying buying this game on the PS3. I definitely do want to get this game. I don't know when, um, but I gotta take the game back today. Actually, unfortunately, but um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the um, online and show you guys some gameplay. Hopefully, I can find a match. So, uh, see you guys in a second. Okay, so you can um, see the uh, layout. It's like the main layout here. Uh, hopefully these fools will press start so we can start the match so I can show you guys some. I'm the only one that's hit ready, but uh, here's the character I'm using. Um, uh, Jonah or something like that. Uh, different layouts, shotgun, you know, bow and arrow. Basically everything from the um, single player and all that. Uh, you can switch between the different factions or whatever. But uh, yeah. These fools will hurry up and hit start. Let's go. <laughs> Show you guys some quick gameplay. I'll make sure to edit this shit so you're not sitting here for five hours waiting like me. Because, yeah. But yeah, the online, it's it's okay. It's nothing that needed to be in this game. To me, the single player was more is more than enough. Like I said, great characters, great story, great gameplay, great sound, all that stuff. Oh, yeah, also, I forgot to mention the um, artificial intelligence uh, with the characters. That's something else, too, that kind of reminded me from what I've seen so far with um, The Last of Us, which which is why I say I think it's 
going to be more similar to The Last of Us than Uncharted, but at the same time, I did I did also say that Uncharted and this new Tomb Raider look more similar than they actually play, so the same rules may apply for The Last of Us. I obviously don't know because I haven't played it, but um, the AI does remind me a lot of um, The Last of Us or, or, or vice versa, I guess, or whatever, so um, yeah, very good AI. They actually, they don't do the same thing you know, over and over again, they really do react to what you do, they'll flank you, move around, they'll communicate, they'll react to what you do, they they know what weapons you use when you start shooting, I'm like, oh wow, she has an AK, and da, da, da. I think Icy Rivers might have mentioned that too, so, yeah, re really good AI as well. But, um, the multiplayer pretty much speaks for itself, I mean, you, you, got, you guys will see here, there's not really too much I can say about it, I mean, layout, you got, you know, you can, uh, I believe you can upgrade the weapons, I, I don't know, I don't really care about the online, but, you got your free for all, your like capture the flag and shit. Um, I don't know. You can you, you can sprint, <laughs> hold down circle, you can run around and shit. I mean, I don't know. It's to me this shit did not need to be in here, but hey, whatever. I believe I'm playing rescue mode, so you gotta like rescue a, a fallen member or something. I, I I don't know. I actually haven't played. Only mode I played uh, so far is um. Free the uh, free for all because I I now I don't really care for this. Let's see if I can find somebody. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I can tell it's already lagging. But. Unless it's a PS3 problem, I mean, anybody has from the Xbox or the PC, I mean, let me know if you guys have, uh, oh shit, if you guys have ran into the, um, same, uh, problems with the multiplayer, but, yeah. Online's not really anything special. I mean, some of the issues could be because the game just came out, or whatever, so, I mean, I understand that you're gonna have some lag issues, but this shit... <laughs> just the, the the online itself to me just ain't really nothing to really boast and brag about, I guess you can say. Yeah. All right, so pretty much you got a pet. So basically, it's like uh, uh, but plunder. It's kind of like kind of like plunder, I guess. Shit, it's kind of like it's kind of like plunder. It seems so. You just got like a little package thing, and you have to uh, score it. So pretty much plunder, but. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, I mean, you guys can see how the game is. It ain't. But, um, yeah. Yeah, medical supplies are recovered. So basically, plunder. If anybody's played on um, plunder from um, Uncharted. Or catch the flag, pretty much. In a sense. going son but yeah I ain't that bad at the multiplayer it's just not there's way better uh, mul multiplayer games out there this game didn't need it but um hey you know it's, it's 2013 so you know I guess BG you know he was, he was right you know it's just game with the times I guess I don't know but whatever but uh yeah I'm probably gonna cut this footage off right here um yeah, 9 out of 10, great story, great AI, great gameplay, great graphics, great character, voice acting, online, it's kind of whatever. A um, few little things with the controls every now and again kind of got funky. And a couple, couple of little things here and there with the plot that was kind of like, kind of weird. But uh, overall, 9 out of 10, I enjoyed it. I'm definitely buying this game. Uh, best game so far this year, in my opinion, until Bioshock Infinite comes out, which will be game of the year. You heard it here. Probably not first, but you heard it here. Bioshock Infinite Game of the Year. And uh, yeah, Tomb Raider definitely Game of the Year contender. Um, yeah, this is your boy Bobby W223, and uh, I'm gonna jump off this cliff because this online is whack. Whee! Alright, later.